Lenny Supal sat down with him to learn more about his vision for the future. Lenny. Good afternoon, Stacy. Well, Chief Watts said that the commitment from first responders in this city is so incredible, and that's what made it so easy to accept the position. But the city is growing quickly, along with new demands for emergency response. <laughs> Round the clock, 24-7, we never close. Chief Keith Watts starting his week at St. Pete Fire Rescue with a new role, taking the helm of the department after serving the city for the last six years. I never had a goal to become a fire chief, uh, either in my other department or this one. Uh, my goal was always to be the best whatever rank. His passion to protect and serve the public spans more than 30 years, dating back to 1991 at Orange County Fire Rescue. But he started his career with questions. I would ask them, I don't want to run into a burning building when everybody's running out. You couldn't pay me enough to do that. And uh, one day the, one of them took me to a station and, you know, walked around and showed me everything and talked about the training that they gave you. and. You know, the rest is history. Some 30 plus years later, here I am. After his first year as a firefighter, Chief Watts served as a combat medic for the Florida Army National Guard. His rescues during Hurricane Andrew in 1992 earned him medals and statewide recognition. Now, training the next generation of firefighters in St. Pete's cadet program, a focal point. We hire people with no experience. We will train them. We will send them to fire academy. We will send them to EMT school. Chief Watts went on to say that those cadets will be paid as they are going through the program. He also partnered with Pinellas County Urban League over the summer, launching Camp Ignite, which is an all-girls camp to encourage young women to launch a career as a firefighter. Reporting live in St. Pete, Lenny Supal, 8 on your side.